we decided to work together to try to find ways of improving the discussions on how we can translate strategy design into strategy results. Just to give you a number, a very scary number, if you go back to the World Economic Forum and take a look on the numbers on the GDP and failure of initiatives, you will see that every 20 seconds, around a million dollars is wasted globally due to the poor implementation of projects. The idea today is to start the discussion, a very solid and deep discussion on why we are facing so many challenges on transforming ideas into reality and how we can succeed on that. Anyone with strategic responsibilities already knows that the easy part is to develop the plan. The difficult part is to align the organization uh, to execute the plan. The difficult part is to uh, operate with conflicting objectives such as execution and adaptability. What's more powerful than an idea is common language. I've learned a few things in the process and found that the ideas are really just a starting point. Maybe our greatest value is to build a language that allows people to discuss the undiscussable. Going from ideas to business, that's the hard part. How do I turn maybe one in 20 or 30 ideas into real business? One of the things I think that still exists is this myth in companies that we just pick the right idea, we're going to succeed. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and, you know, evidence shows that seven out of 10 ideas flop because we're mastering the wrong thing. We're trying to pick the idea. But entrepreneurship and innovation is about this. Like, it's a mess. It, you back and forth, and eventually you'll get towards building a business. Strategy and innovation, which used to be kind of separate, are now inextricably linked. If you think about any metric you want to think about, it presumes that tomorrow is a lot like today. The day after that's going to be a lot like tomorrow, and so forth and so forth. And you get rewarded, right, for predicting steady, predictable uh, outcomes. You get punished for doing this stuff, you know, because yeah. it's unpredictable and it's weird. And how, what do you mean you're going to spend 96 projects to get four that actually work? Yeah. That's nuts, right? Yeah. You'd never do that here. Sometimes people, CEOs in particular, or leadership teams, can create too much value. That means rather than saying what they think, they should just be facilitators of the process and get out of the way and let people do the work. We need to radically transform many pieces, organizational culture, metrics, um, the skills even that we need to select. And, and that's a big challenge, not, not easy to do. We hope we offered some food for thought on ideas at work. It's not a science, it's a difficult, challenging area. Uh, let us thank our panel. Thank you all. Thank you.